Hello and welcome to this Project in a Box uh, Quick Looks session. In this session we're going to be having a look at loading a Microsoft Project Plan file into Planner. So first thing I need to do is open Planner um, and then uh, I can ignore the data that's here because I'm going to create a new file with the data I'm going to import. So I'm going to come up to here, Import Export Tasks two big options here import export from CSV where I can copy and paste from Excel or from a CSV structure um, or import tasks from file and that's what we want in this particular case now up at the top we set up the file we want to load in from so browse and you'll see I've got that file set up here already now you'll notice that that's got the Microsoft Project icon on it so I do have Microsoft Project installed on this machine but that isn't necessary to load the data into Planner um, Planner will open and read the Microsoft Project file even if you don't have Microsoft Project present. So, I firstly load tasks and it's going to read that file and read out the content that we want. We don't bring absolutely everything from Microsoft Project but we do bring the essential things that you will need. So you can see resources, predecessors, duration, start, end dates, etc. Now we have two ways of loading that information into Planner. Um, exact dates and task links. So the task links one which we're going to look at first brings the information and uses the predecessor data set up brought from Microsoft Project. Now the issue about this is that Microsoft Project has four different dependency types and Project in a Box has one. We use the most common uh, where one task finishes and it leads on to the starting of another task, a finish start link. Now um, if you're just using those sort of predecessors in Microsoft Project then that's going to work absolutely fine. If you do have other types of predecessors set in your Microsoft Project file then as it says the dates may change because we won't be able to handle those properly so uh, so you might get some shifts in your plan so you do need to be taking care if you use the second one But if we do that I'm going to import and create a new project here it is and in fact if we go and expand all those summaries we'll see the detail showing up there um, and it's brought through percentage complete summary groups tasks milestones uh, resourcing information as we can see down here um, and populated that in you know the sort of way you would expect um, and you can now take this you can of course file save save this as a new uh, file you'll be able to keep going back and using it in planner and updating it in planner um, you'll be able to add on the planner features like costs and uh, and resource management etc um, and manage your risks and issues in here and gain calendar and milestone views of it all so all that stuff's just going to work automatically um, so pretty straightforward to do all that now like I say the only problem is or well, the only issue potentially is that if you've used different sorts of predecessors things may have moved around a little bit so let's just have a look at the other route which is to import export from file We'll do the same thing again, but this time I'm going to use exact dates. So, this time we've got the dates as they came out of Microsoft Project. So, Microsoft Project uses its, uses its own mechanism in the file you were given to schedule the start and end dates of all those tasks. Um, and we've just taken those dates, we haven't brought any of the links at all just in case anything throws it out, we don't want to recalculate any of that so if, if a supplier has sent you a Microsoft Project file um, and you want to be able to see what dates things were supposed to start and finish this is definitely the best way of doing that because it's going to mimic exactly the dates that were in that Microsoft Project file, it still shows you the resources and percentage completes and descriptions that might be in those tasks etc um, but you're not getting the dependencies, now of course if you want to move forward and you're essentially transferring out of Microsoft Project into Planner, you don't intend to go back to Microsoft Project at all, you probably do want the dependencies um, because you'll want to be able to move tasks around and you know um, use it as an ongoing live plan. So for a sort of review process definitely the best bet is to do the second mode um, where we just use the dates and if you're going to use it as an ongoing plan and you're really leaving Microsoft Project behind then use the with dependencies mode and uh, just go through and make sure you're happy with that data and you might need to uh, jiggle and re-link re some of your tasks appropriately but that's a pretty straightforward process I think you'll um, you'll agree to load the data through from Microsoft Project to Planner thank you